Sup guys, it's Tenkosh and we changed the layout in the apartment a little bit, so the studio is a little bit different right now, let me know how do you like it. And today we are doing the guide for North Tower, finally beginner's guide, I love this game, I play it a lot, so I decided to share my experience with you. So first things first, you gotta complete as many levels as possible guys, because you gotta push, and you gotta push a lot. Um, in the campaign, over here, you can see the rewards and like... As you can see, every next level unlocks you new things, new cards, and that kind of stuff. Um, it's really important to notice that once unlocked, for example, when we'll get... Who, who's that? Like, that mage, ice wizard. It will be available from the random drops from the cards. Before that, you will only be able to buy him from the store in order to unlock him as well. So, it's a good idea to go for as much progression as possible. Always check your island and get as much stuff here as possible. There is a limit in time, so uh, you gotta claim it before the time limit. Yields are pretty different depending on how far are you into the game, but those are really, really crazy and really good. They help you to get so many things, guys. I am really amazed by how much free stuff you can get here. Uh, yeah, check the mail from time to time because it gives you rewards sometimes. So yeah, don't miss that. As for the upgrades, since we are on the island, let's talk about island first. As for the upgrades, I recommend upgrading something that gives you uh, stuff like spell house, for example, like, uh, where is it, uh, dragon lair, those things that you use the most. I prefer spell house personally because spells are like very rare, there are not many of them, and they have been used all together throughout the game, while the dragon might change if, if, if but mostly not. Now, the palace upgrade requires different resources from the normal upgrade, and what does it do? It increases your capacity, max capacity of the resources you can store, so basically um, that will give you more storage resources that you can get if you don't log in for a long time. Alchemy Workshop here is useful to get extra stuff, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, mainly, I just convert the, you know, the, the basic things, I do the convertation mostly. Uh, I don't go for those uh, advanced recipes yet, because I want to make sure that I do the right thing. And in order to do that, you gotta research everything and know what you wanna get. Because, for example, some green towers are extremely powerful, so I don't wanna waste that uh, on transition to the blue ones, and it's costly, so yeah. The more of those transitions, the more of those alchemy you will do, the higher will be the level, and in the end it will give you first achievement bonuses that you can use for the upgrades, and more and more uh, crafting slots. Those are really useful in the long run, because they will help you out to get more stuff. Also, don't forget that you get the free stuff available, and you want to claim that. So, uh, speed ups over here. Um, there are daily rewards of those and you don't want to miss them as well. Next, let's move on to the shop. Obviously, you claim the free stuff. Other than that, I would advise you guys to claim the things that are your heroes, because heroes are really rare in this game, so uh, in the store, I would advise going for the hero upgrades if you can get them, if you're lucky with them. Uh, from here, I don't, see, I don't think this is a hero, let's see. So, yeah. This is the hero uh, that, that you can use later on, so let's get him here, and we will get his part in the second store as well, because like, as I said, those, like, that's the only thing I will spend diamonds on in here, personally, because those things will help you in the long run. The heroes are really powerful in this game. Now, let's move on to Worf. It's pretty straightforward here as well, you just, you know, send your ships, uh... Oh, this one is heavy, cool. I need to do some upgrades. Send your ships, collect that loot, and after that you go to this area and open the chests. Uh, basically, they will give you alchemy recipes and other things, so yeah, nothing crazy over here. Just make sure that, like, you don't really need to upgrade your ships before you'll get to the area, for example, where I'm right now. Like, this uh, Excel treasure requires 63 weight available, so we'll get one of the ships and make it really tough, so this one will be, like, 63 the heavy carrier and we'll send it there and for other packages we will use our normal ship so i mean why the hell not and same here don't forget to check the achievements that will give you extra rewards and of course check your speed ups because those can be uh, acquired for free and basically yes in any screen you want to check the achievements and sometimes do something that's necessary in order to get those rewards 
that will help you out in the long run to get extra gains. Moreover, some of the rewards uh, from 7 day packs that are available when you start the game, they're kind of, they're pretty cool. Uh, they require you to do some stuff uh, in the town and everything, so you wanna to make sure that you get as many of those as possible. In, in the perfect world, you would like to complete it fully and get the rewards from all those things and get the extra reward. That's hard, but it's manageable. I don't think that I should mention that the tasks, the daily tasks are necessary to go through. So always do that and get all the rewards from here. So right, now let's go to the interesting thing, uh, the level ups, which towers to level up. Um, I will make a separate guide in-depth guide for everything when I'll unlock most things. Right now, in the early game, I really advise you guys to go hard on the catapult. That thing blows everyone out of the water. That's an incredibly powerful thing. So I always work on it. I always get as much as possible. Um, specifically, the damage ones, because that thing is like one of the best AoE weapons you will have. So let's uh, spend some upgrades here. I don't... I, I even get the health for it so it won't die that easily. So... Yeah, it's it's a really, really powerful thing. Out of the green ones, it's the best one. Out of the blue ones, everything else is kinda okay, so it can be evenly distributed. I really didn't like the Berge Ballista. It, it doesn't work really well. It's like worst of AOE towers, as you can guess. The left one is single target, the middle one is AOE, the right one is like uh, troops. I would advise going for either X-Men or musketeer because later on you will get the enemies that are flying and there will be a lot of them and it will be really hard to get them so they might be a trouble for you so those guys might be your way out uh, moreover if you have ability to enchant someone or level up always do that because that's their cards that's extra cards that you have and that will allow them to become stronger if you're wondering what are the stats you can click on this i icon and i not not i but i <laughs> and here you can see all the stats available, so uh, yeah, you will see how it goes and which star level have what stats. Uh, to be sure, getting additional star doesn't double its performance, it's given like about, mm, I don't know, a little bit of bonus, it's not crazy high, so yeah. Purple ones, honestly, so far I didn't like any of them, the wing winged rider was pretty good, so those guys are okay, uh, everybody else is like, meh. I really don't feel like they are powerful enough uh, to invest in them that much. This guy is nice. Uh, we will see what will happen when we'll unlock the ice guy. This ranger, it doesn't do enough damage. Maybe later on when the enemies will have a lot of armor, it will be good enough. Because he's poison and everything, it's, it's not that crazy good. Bombs, like, overall useless because, yeah, you'd rather get more catapults on those slots. To be honest, like, catapults and maybe sometimes rolling logs are the best away weapons available so far. Now I can talk about the rest of the towers since they are not unlocked yet, but I can talk about dragons. Now for the dragons, the most powerful dragon in single target AOE will be this guy, double-headed Volka. I decided to go with the lightning stoic because, I don't know, I liked him, so I decided to go with this guy. And there is also a fury gober, which is really good against a landing units. It have good AOE, so it's good for taking out the crowds, but uh, if you will get some strong air units, you will have troubles. A lightning stoic, although have a one good advantage, it always hits the target, so it's on point and it's always doing its damage, so it's really good against single target damage of strong enemies. Then we got the Sterigram. Uh, I tried him, I didn't like him. Like, he's throwing his stuff all around and it doesn't hit the target. His DP DPS isn't as high. So I advise at the early game at least to focus on one of three guys. And preferably one of two. So either the first one for more DPS or if you want more precision, go for Lightning Stoic. Both of those dragons are really cool, really powerful, and you will get a lot of their copies for the upgrades early on, so you won't regret going for them. As for the spells, uh, as for the spells, you want all of those upgraded. Like, there is no uh, one or other way over here. All of those are really nice, and you want to use them as soon as you can in, in the fight. We'll get to the fight a bit later. And, yeah, like... Really, really good stuff, guys. Don't don't regret going for them. As for the upgrades, I prefer archers, to be honest, and uh, going for the damage mostly, because those guys, uh, sometimes they save my life, several times. So I really like this one the most. The new spell friends that I got recently is really good as well, because it's buffing all your towers, so why the hell not? Overall, since each next upgrade is becoming more and more expensive, 
you want to evenly distribute your resources between the stuff that you have with that will be more fair and more efficient uh, the last but not least the heroes now the heroes I have only the stone element here and I invested a lot into that guys you can see he is very powerful oh, we got a new attack book let's go they are extremely powerful and I don't regret one bit going for them and I think like what I'm trying to do right now is to get um, you know parts of other ones to unlock them and uh, let's move on to the actual edit area and here you can fit like several heroes it seems that you can fit all of them since there are one two three six slots for the heroes which is really really cool you can get only one main dragon on top of the tower and over here in the tower menu uh, you have limited amount of stuff so you gotta prioritize which heroes to put where as you can see over here I, I hope you can see I have plenty of catapults I have three catapults here I have two rolling uh, logs uh, and everything else for testing so basically I really like the catapults the most out of the green ones as for the blue stuff we have some musketeers we have some axe throwers and we have plenty of infantry to hold the enemies behind I have one healing thing over here that doesn't that useful but I like to kind of balance it out have a different stuff available so it seems to be working for me now I saved a lot of money to show you how you can merge all that stuff so let's actually do that and see if we'll get lucky and maybe maybe we will be able to upgrade the stuff that we have uh, I'm not sure about that to be honest because it's like RNG yeah we upgraded one guy and it's it's a really good idea to make your guys strong because that will allow you to push so much further and get more rewards so don't don't hold back on the upgrades guys don't hold back we got even this archer over here with the poison and he is not good do I have still yeah, I still have this barrel over there it's level 5 already oh my god but it's still pretty useful it doesn't do that much here press on the star you can select the different level of the purchased uh, basic unit and like it's really advisable to go for the highest one because otherwise you'll be overcrowded here with the minor one star guys and guys you don't want that that's a mess trying to merge everything manually you can auto merge but that requires high level of uh, VIP and I'm free to play so never an option for me so we uh, actually spent most of our gold and we got some upgrades here we got more powerful um, now the main question that you might have is how do you unlock more of those slots for the towers which I had as well and uh, it's really complex first of all you get some of those from those rewards over here you can see those ones uh, at level 12 the one with the question mark random base shard that will give you the random base um, and you need to collect several of, the, of those to get your base higher level another way is to do the asgard portal summons here you can get a lot of different stuff but 7.7 percent to get the base slot and that's like in my opinion the best reward over here and the most worthy so let's go do some summons and see if we'll be able to get more stuff available for us yeah we got four base star uh, parts over there that's nice uh, let's go more like, I, I want to spend everything I was saving up for you guys so you will enjoy it with me let's see what do we get here we didn't get the base stuff here but as you can see we got a lot of different resources for the upgrades of the towers and stuff and it's a good idea to unlock things that you want before doing those summons because that will help you out in the long run um, as you can see like if we would get the second hero unlocked right now we will get the second hero shards but yeah it's not the case for us so let's get what we get all right let's keep going we get different types of those things being rewarded so like this is a square one and uh they kind of work for different type of towers uh when we'll be done with this i'll show you wow that's a lot of resources here there we go we're done we say we used up everything we could so let's go back to the edit mode and see what will happen bam we didn't get enough to unlock extra uh, extra slots but we got those you know progression things here and as you can see like we got one two three four different options which is the fourth one i don't know like the one is for the range the one is for the melee and uh, the one is for the aoe why we have so many i i don't know guys but yeah that's how it works basically that's the only option you can get 
uh, to unlock those things. Other is progression, and we will get to that soon. Another thing you can summon are constellations. Those are basically the specific things that will buff your troops. So let's get some more of those, and I'll show you how they work. So you gotta get those pieces, and later on, you will use them to... Well, that's enough. Yeah, we can get more. Uh, you can use them in the astrology house on your base, and, uh, yeah, they will give you the bonuses. So, for example, this one will give Ice Element attack. They are not crazy useful. They are not that in insanely useful. But some of those are pretty good, like Island Gold Production, for example. That's nice. This one gives Pikeman attack. This one gives Gold Production. Is it the same? Yeah, the X-Men attack. So, depending on which of those do you have, uh, you will have different bonus. Like, this one is really good for me because this is my dragon, so... Uh, we just need some stars in order to make it work. And then you'll have this uh, fantastic star map that you kinda, you know, you see with those things. So, yeah. Now, anyway, I was caught into all the upgrade loops here. There are so many. Let's move on. Um, Alright. So, how does the fight go? Uh, there are some things you wanna do. Straight away you wanna summon archers, get the shield. And then when the fight starts, you want to use other boosts. Usually I do that, like when your guys are shooting. Specifically when you can aim. Oh yeah, by the way. You want to aim with your uh, dragon on the flag bearers for starters. That will make those crowded enemies way weaker. Now the enemies are close, we can use other debuffs. And uh, those weak weak like enemies weakened, they won't be that strong. Because those uh, flag bearers, they also heal their team. So... That kind of wastes your DPS, you don't want that. Of course, guys, you already know that the enemies, they can destroy your towers, so it's important to uh, take out the most dangerous enemies, and those are usually the crowds of enemies we hear, um, and you want to take out the flag bearer for that, and uh, the catapults and the ramps. Those are the worst. Everything else isn't that scary, so now we're aiming at the enemy boss. I don't think that's our priority target right now. I want to get this flying one, Terrazaur, because uh, when other units are shooting it, they are missing it, so that's not a good idea for us. Always use the shield on cooldown, that will save some of your towers. Uh, use the healing when your towers are injured. Basic things, right? Learn us something better. Teach us. Teach us, then. Okay, look at that. We killed most enemies now we got only the boss left and as you can see the boss is dying really fast when all of your guys are focusing him so yeah we won pretty straightforward so this is the normal campaign uh there is a different game mode it's over here it's called portal of impasse this is like the hard way you got you kind of blow through harder and harder waves of enemies and here you get cool upgrades for your town so it's really important to go through this as soon as possible and unlock new things like for example this cottage will boost your uh, passive gold gain so let's go and do one run over here and see how it will go so archers shield we can get the slow down straight away we aim for the flag bearer i think we can get the damage boost right now as well as you can see there are a bunch of enemies here it's, it's really scary, but I hope we'll be able to beat them up. I don't, I'm not sure about that, though. Alright, so I'm trying to beat the pa pa Palin. Come on. Palin. Uh, okay, it seems that we are doing it. Like, one of the bosses is going down. Good. Uh, always keep an eye on your health of, of your tower, so use healing when it's necessary. The catapult is going down, that's good. Like, the faster catapults will go down, the better. Bam, we won. So all the enemies got decimated. Easy, not bad. So we got one house for the base right now, and that's really nice. It's really important to place your hero at the right side, guys. I can't stress it enough, because sometimes, as you progress the game, uh, the map shifts, and then you gotta edit, you gotta go to the uh, hero and move this guy to other locations, so he will be facing the enemies. He is such a great tank that will lower the DPS your town, your tower will take. So it's really important to put him in the front line. That way he will tank the most damage. And guys, for your first week, you really want to focus on all those tasks over here. I haven't read all of them. Uh, I saw some of those uh, were watching ads and I never had option to do that. So yeah, that was sad. 
Um, yeah, and do all the dailies, all the stuff available. Let's go for Arena now. I'll show you how it works. Basically, it's pretty straightforward. You fight other guys. And uh, you would like to compare the power and don't go for really powerful guys. Otherwise, you might lose. So let's go for this guy. Uh, arenas are fully automated. You can't do anything here. You can control it. It's a really fun game mode, though, because it, it's... It's such a massacre, guys, and it's uh, pretty much RNG. But we should be able to win this, I think. I don't know, but we should be. They have the same type of dragon, so usually that means that our guys should be stronger. And look how our catapults are destroying their base because of the AOE. Look at that. Yeah, they're already losing towers. We last only one, so... We are doing great here, and when the main tower, when the main tower will be down, we can control it. Um, the enemies will... They don't have a chance right now anyway, but yeah, they will have a even lower chance. It's almost down, and it's crumbling any second right now. Bam, the poor dragon is going down, so yeah, now we just have to finish the rest of the enemy base, and we will win this. There we go, we got through the fight, and we got some rewards. And you can spend... Oh, that's free stuff. Don't forget about it. You can spend those uh, things that you get from the PvP over here for the stars and stuff. Um, there is a tower reset crystal, which is really cool. If you want to get rid of some towers in your formation, you should save for it. Because that will give a lot, a lot of resources back. But other than that, go for whatever you feel the best here. And the higher ranking is, the more daily and seasonal rewards of those uh, PvP trinkets you will get. Moreover, you will get the free chances here and the one that are available for the ads. So it's up to you if you want to use them or not. Another game mode is Plunder. Basically here, you just trying to get as much loot as possible, chasing the enemy, like fighting enemy wave and you're good. Nothing crazy here, same st the same stats, nothing new. Same strategy, you just use whatever you can. Look at that, there are so many bosses there. And, and you just take them down. It's easy, um, it's progressive difficulty as well, so uh, you can go for harder and harder difficulty as the time goes by, but it's not that hard, guys, so it's, it's pretty straightforward, yeah. <laughs> for the wall boss, same stuff, basically get your best team and try to do the most damage on the boss. Nothing crazy here again, depending on what you have. Some towers are better than others, I've checked that, like for example, that bearish tower is pretty good on the bosses, but it doesn't work to go for some specific tower in order to get the higher boss damage in my opinion, at least early game, so just go with what you have. Now let's go to the league screen, here we have different stuff, so we got some, um, some activity here, we got a sign in daily, that will give you some rewards, uh, you can chat with others, there are members, and the most important is training camp. Over here you can spend your resources that you get from the guild activities for the upgrades. And here you can go for, you know, different upgrades and uh, those are really, really useful. For example, my favorites here are multi-towers because those are doing most damage. Uh, heroes and enchant spells, those are my priority dragons as well. Everything else is secondary, but since you have resources, you can do it like that, because, like, yeah, you need higher level in order to unlock more things. Uh, the one down here, I don't know, really. Those are, like, support options, so I don't know if those are really needed for you. So, yeah, I think I haven't missed anything. This game has so many game modes, so many things available here that it's really easy to miss. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any extra tips for this game if you played it. And if you want more guides on this game, let me know as well. So I think I will do the um, units, the towers guide specifically, or maybe a tier list, because those are pretty cool and it really takes a lot of time to figure out which one is the best. And talking about this will take a long time. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what do you think about that down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Moreover, check the pinned comment and the video description for additional links. We have linked to with all the guides, uh, all the guides, all the links over there. There is a second channel with idle games. You might like that. And Discord where we can talk to each other. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.